Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to compare between 10 power 10 versus 9 power 11 without making use of a calculator and find out which of these is actually the bigger number. Now, we can say that let this be our A and this is our B. So, if we have A divided by B and this is less than 1, that means A is less than B. Also, if we have a divided by b and this is greater than 1, that means a is greater than b. So we will apply this analogy. So we can start by dividing 10 power 10 by 9 power 11. First of we have 9 power 11 divided by 9 power 11. So let's proceed. Here we are going to have 10 power 10 divided by 9 power 11 versus this can cancel itself. We are going to have 1. Now we are going to concentrate on this. So we now have 10 power 10 divided by 9 power 11 and this equals, we can have it as 10 power 10 divided by 9 power instead of this 11 we can have 10 plus 1 remember if you have a power n plus m this equals a power n times a power m so we apply this identity right here that means we are going to have 10 power 10 divided by 9 power 10 times 9 power 1. So that means we are going to have 10 power 10 divided by 9 power 10 times 9 because 9 power 1 is 9. So at this point we can split this, we can have it as 10 power 10 divided by 9 power 10 times 1 divided by 9. So, here we have 10 at the exponent, we have 10 at the exponent, we can combine them, we can have 10 divided by 9, all raised to the power of 10 times 1 divided by 9. So, the next thing we are going to do is, this is 10, we can have it as the summation of 1 plus 9, so we have 1 plus 9 divided by 9 all raised to the power of 10 times 1 divided by 9. So we can further split it again. We are going to have 1 divided by 9 plus 9 divided by 9 all raised to the power of 10 times 1 divided by 9. So this will further give us 1 divided by 9 plus 1 because this will cancel itself all raised to the power of 10 times 1 divided by 9. So we can as well rearrange this. We can have it as 1 plus 1 divided by 9 all raised to the power of 10 times 1 divided by 9. Now the next thing we are going to do is we can erase this exponent 10 here as the summation of 9 plus 1. So we have this equals 1 plus 1 divided by 9 to the power of 9 plus 1 times 1 divided by 9. And we apply this identity again equals a power n times a power m. So when once we apply it here we are going to have 1 plus 1 divided by 9 raised to the power of 9 times 1 plus 1 divided by 9 raised to the power of 1 times 1 divided by 9. Now, if you consider what we have here, this is in the form of 1 plus 1 divided by n or power n. And as n 
approaches infinity, the value of this becomes E, that is Euler's formula. And the value of E is approximately, we have 2.7182, and it goes like that. So that means this value is obviously less than 3. So the value of what we are going to have here using this Euler's identity is less than 3. So if this is less than 3, so let's consider that. That means we have a number that is less than 3 times, then we have what we have here, this one here, 1 plus 1 over 9, 1 plus 1 over 9 raised to the power of 1, which is the same thing, then we have times 1 over 9, 1 over 9. So, what are we going to get? Now, we can convert this back again. We multiply 9 by 1. We are going to have 9 plus 1, that is 10. So, you have a number that is less than 3 times 10 divided by 9, then times 1 divided by 9. This is a number that is less than 3. So, since we are not making use of a calculator, we can consider 3 that is the nearest whole number. But meanwhile, it's supposed to be like 2.7 something. But let's make use of 3. So we are just adding to this number again. So let's make use of 3. So we have 3 times 10 divided by 9 times 1 divided by 9. So 3 cancel itself, 1 cancel this. We are going to have 3. So that means we will have, if you multiply the numerator, we have 10 divided by 3 times 9, we are going to have 27. Now we have 10 divided by 27. And remember, we were dividing A by B. So this becomes our A and this is our B. So we say, if A divided by B is less than 1, that means A is actually less than what? B. And if A divided by B is greater than 1, that means A is greater than what? B. Now, if you follow this, a here is less than B because 10 is obviously less than 27. So that means A divided by B will give us a number that is less than 1. So it shows that A is less than what? B. This is very obvious. So that means 10 is less than 27. And from here, you can also agree with me that 10 raised to the power of 10, which happens to be our A, is also less than 9 raised to the power of 11, which happens to be our B. So we can say that 10 power 10 is less than or smaller than 9 power 11. Or 9 power 11 is greater than 10 power 10. So that is it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.